Hi, welcome to Volleyball 1 on 1. Uh, this video is about using biomechanical tape to improve and fix shoulder injuries. Right. I'm here with Ryan Kendrick from Dynamic Tape, and Ryan has a lot of expertise uh, helping athletes across all fields from tennis to volleyball to cricket to rugby and working with players at the highest level. So tell us a little bit about what the injury is, what kind of causes it, and how we're going to fix it. Yeah, so this, uh, this first technique is a, a relatively simple one. It's one that you, you may even be able to have, you know, mum or dad or, or uh, your partner do for you. And it takes the load off the shoulder. So we're going to correct the shoulder blade position, which is really critical. Um, and we're going to take a lot of the weight out of the arm. So it's really useful for things like our rotator cuff problems, which we see regularly, our bursitis, uh, even our AC joint subluxations, where we get a bit of a separation through there. That's all uh, aggravated by, or even in some cases, brought on by extra load of the arm, shoulder blade position, and so on. So we're going to correct all that for you. So a lot of times, if you've got a kid playing in a lot of tournaments, or a big day, or just too much practice, this is a really simple right. taping technique using this bio tape. It's not kinesio tape, it's a different type of tape to essentially reduce or slow down the injury or give you a chance yourself of time to relax and relax. Right, one we're going to take some of the load so that the body doesn't have to do so much and two we're going to actually improve the mechanics of it by improving that shoulder blade position and, and taking the weight of the arm. Perfect. Alright, so what we need to do is just make sure that we get the arm in a short position. So we're going to run a strip up the back here so we're going to bring it on in the back. Now we are really pulling on the on the body here, on the levers of the body, so we've got to have a nice anchor point here, you know, a good couple of inches here at the end that, that doesn't have any tension on it, because if I pull really strongly on there, you're going to get a blister from that, that ripping into your skin. So, so do you use, use the, the sticky stuff too sometimes? Yep, so you know, if we're th throwing you straight out on the court, we'd be spraying this with our adhesive spray right here first, and that gives us a really good, uh, quick initial bomb, particularly in the hot weather, if you know, if you're sweating or if you're going in the water and that sort of thing. Uh, it just gives it a, that really extra adhesion that you sometimes need. So we've got you in that nice short position. We'd normally take off the hair, make sure you've got no lotion and oil and creams and all those sorts of things. And then you've got to hold this end down so that again we don't get that shearing on the skin. I'm going to take up the slack in the tape and then I'm going to smooth that down and run that around onto the front here. So what happens now is as you start to drop your arm down, this is going to tension up and start to give you a bit of a lift. Wow, it's very elastic, far more elastic than kinesio tape really or anything springy. else I've used. Yeah, and that's what allows us to put it on in these shortened positions and get that real bungee cord effect Wow, out. that's very cool. Now you want to hold it really well, particularly on those ends for a good 30 seconds or so uh, to get that glue bonding off and then give it a really good rub. And then we're going to bring in our second one, which is really going to start to bring in this correction of this shoulder blade position and get you into a much better position back here as well. So we'll take this one. Again, try not to touch the glue if you don't have to. So we just tear that backing sheet, that comes away and I can stick that down without getting my fingers all over the, the glue. That just improves your adhesion. Again, we're gonna shorten you up. Start well down the arm and you know, the reason we do that, we're talking mechanics here and if I exert my force a long way away from the fulcrum, I get a bit better leverage effect. Yeah. So it's just like having a, a longer crowbar. Also gives you a better anchor point so you don't uh, tear that skin apart. Now if we bring you up and back a little bit, and now we're going to come through here, sweep down, just bring that shoulder back so we get that in that correct position and run this all the way through. And again, nice big anchor point at the other end without any tension on it. Hold that down once again really, really well for a good 30 seconds usually. Give it a really good rub. And so when the arm drops down, you'll feel that starting to take some of the weight of your shoulder there. Take the weight of that arm. Wow. It's so different. I just feel it lifting up and just... And yet you can and still get through that full range, do all the things you need to do in, in volleyball. And what's interesting is I feel so much more supported with this coming through my back here. Like my entire, like, wow. It's like scapular is supported. It's very interesting. Right. And we can use this all the way across your trunk so we can even get some deceleration control on that trunk rotation in your follow through, for example, and things like that. Cool. Okay. Um, for those of you that are interested and actually looking for a sample of this, we're giving this away at Volleyball 1 on 1. We're giving a sample of the tape as well as the sticky spray. Uh, make sure you check it out at Volleyball 1 on 1. We've also shot some other videos for other injuries around volleyball, as well as some ways that you can use dynamic tape to improve form and technique. Make sure you check it all out. Thanks.